AD, we finish our campaign here against Trero on a positive note with a 2-1 win. What did you make of it? Yeah, I thought um, I thought Reece was very good. I thought Reece made some very good saves. Um, but overall, yeah, just um, it's just nice to get three points. Um, you know, it's, um, obviously everybody knows it's been a very tough season and not the season that we wanted. But um, I'd just like to thank everybody connected to the football club. Obviously, I haven't been here long, but I just thought the fans are incredible today. To get over a thousand fans here in the position that we're in is incredible. Honestly, it's fantastic. And um, but um, you know. Just like to apologise, obviously, then for the season that we have had, um, but um, I'm going to make sure that we, uh, I'll do all I can to get them back up. Um, but it will be tough next year. It's going to be tough, um, but we need we need to stick together, regroup, um, and go forward next year. And also the players, you know, the players have tried every every game. They've not not tried, um, and uh, so they deserve that as well. So can you give the fans a sort of definitive answer on your future at the club going forward? Will you still be here next season? Oh, 100% I'll be here. Whatever happens, I'll be here. Um, I love the club, I really do. You know, the, yeah, the, uh, I've said before, um, uh, the chairman and the directors have always been honest with me um, since I first came in. Um, and, yeah, I, I just, it's something that um, this is a, the foundations are really, really set in stone here. Um, it's a very good football club. Um, and this, this, we shouldn't be where we are next year. We should never be. Uh, we should be higher, even in the conference south, in my opinion. Everything's ready for it. Academy got a very good academy. Look, at the boys has come on um, with young George and, and young Ollie. Um, we've got f three or four that could have, could easily be involved. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm so determined to get this club back where it, where it should be, where, where it belongs, basically. For you and the coaching staff, does it is it immediately now straight on to next season planning already for the for the pre-season coming? Yeah, we'll have started already. To be honest with you, um, I've spoken to a few players. Um, obviously, um, we'll know about the budget obviously next week because um, there's a board meeting next week. Um, but like I said, the, the chairman and the director have been very honest with me. Um, so yeah, I've already spoken to a, a few players. You know. I've, I've, I've chanced my arm on a few of them because obviously we're going we're going in the lower league. But um, if you don't ask, you don't get. But um, you know, we'll be relying on on the academy as well because um, I think we've got some good youngsters there. And if we can produce our own, even better. Um, you know, Ben and the, and the lads um, in the academy are doing a fantastic job. Um, but we have to get it right. We have to get it right. It's a different league, um, and so we have to get it right. Recruitment is so important in any football club, and we've got to get it right. As much as today did feel sort of like the ending of the season, we still do have a London Senior Cup semi-final coming up next week at Hendon. There's been a bit of a question about the players that will be available, obviously with contracts coming up yeah. at the end of this weekend. So, can you give an update on fans on sort of the team they can expect to see? Yeah, well, all of you know, all of our stand is that if they want to play, they play. Um, the contracts, are up. Um, and I would never be, you know, I'm not going to put a gun to head because they haven't got a contract obviously next season. Um, so um, it's. Um, I'll know Sunday and Monday um, the ones who'll be involved, um, but you know there'll be a great time to look at the, the, the academy boys because they, um, you know, it'd be a great experience for them, and, and they won't do us any harm at all. I think they've, they've been great, but I'll be asked about the end of today um, who wants to be involved. Let me know um, tonight or tomorrow, and then we'll move on from there. But um, I wouldn't, if I was in the same position, I don't think I'd play, only because you know if. It's just, a, it's just a, it's a difficult situation for the players inside who haven't got a contract, they've got to think of themselves. And that's only me being honest. You know, obviously, I'd love them all to play, um, but I think we've got to be realistic that there won't be many players. And going forward, I mean, you've mentioned the attendance today and the fans throughout the whole season, they've, their support's never wavered, so maybe a last message for them. Thank you very much. Obviously, I've been here five minutes and uh, they've, you know, you know, we've, got, we've been relegated and look what they were like today, incredible. Um, but since I've been involved um, with the club, they've been amazing. Home and away, home and away, and, and we need them next year. It's going to be difficult next year, um, but um, we, I want to give them something to shout about next season. And I'd just like to thank them you know, with the time I've been here. And over the season, because it's been a tough season. You know, spent, they've spent good money, um, and uh, just like to thank them. And, and like I say, I'm, I'm on their side, and let's hope we can bounce back straight away next season. Thanks for your time, Eddie. Thank you.